to the Caribbean now where Hurricane Irma has left a trail of death and destruction and is now starting to lash the Turks and Caicos Islands with Cuba, the Bahamas and Florida very much in its sights according to current projections. The Category 5 storm is still packing winds of 300 k's an hour and is pushing waves up to 10 metres high well inland on some islands. It's doing serious damage in some places. At least a dozen people have been confirmed dead. Many islands are completely without power. Aerial photos of the small islands left in its wake show roofs ripped off, cars and containers flipped over, major damage to infrastructure and entire communities that have simply disappeared. Bridget Burke reports. The desolate streets of San Martin in the aftermath of Irma, the Caribbean island comprising of two separate countries today resembling a war zone. The power of Irma evident as broken cars lay tossed around on the street. Its airport, world famous for its runway alongside popular Maho Beach, is destroyed. Video shot from inside Le Beach Hotel shows water and debris carried in by the storm. Containers tossed like blocks on what was once the wharf. Aerial footage showing the extent of Hurricane Irma's fury. A helicopter capturing destroyed homes and boats. Yeah, it's gonna land right on Delano's yellow car. That's where it's gonna land. A family watches from their home on the Caribbean island of St. Thomas as Irma peels off their garage roof. I gotta go and help because the living room is getting flooded, so I'll come back to you guys soon. Irma has already wreaked havoc across San Martin and Anguilla and caused catastrophic damage to Barbuda, where 90% of the island's buildings have been destroyed. The British archipelago of Turks and Caicos and the Dominican Republic were next, and then Cuba. And after devouring the Caribbean, Hurricane Irma is now setting her sights on Florida. The National Hurricane Center issued a hurricane watch of the entire southern end of the state. Florida Governor Rick Scott issued a grave warning. Look at the size of this storm. It's huge. It is wider than our entire state and could cause major and life-threatening impacts on both coasts, coast to coast. Every Floridian, every family should be very take this seriously and be aggressive. You've got to protect your family. Irma. Still a Category 5 storm and one of the biggest ever recorded in the Atlantic, packing winds of close to 300 kilometres an hour. It's expected to slam Florida with a huge storm surge that could bring water up to three metres above the ground. Manuel Estrella lives on Miami Beach. This is huge. It's really huge. And, the, you know, these surges by the beach, you know, the water's going to come up really high. You know, you get trapped in your homes. It's really scary. President Trump expressing his concern from the White House. And these horrible things that we call hurricanes, this is something that is probably bigger, not as much water, but much more power than Harvey. Many of the six million residents on Florida's heavily populated East Coast are seeking safer refuge. The sheer size of that exodus is clogging roads and draining petrol stations. Tracking company Gas Buddy reported 43% of stations in the Miami area and one third in West Palm Beach and Tampa are completely out of fuel. The governor ordered police escorts for station refueling trucks so fuel replenishments can get through quicker. Residents were heeding warnings Irma is expected to be even more ferocious than Hurricane Andrew 25 years ago. Andrew, a Category 5 storm when it hit, devastated Florida and is still on record as one of the costliest storms in US history. For Checkpoint, Bridget Burke. And later in the program, we'll cross to a CNN correspondent who is in Florida awaiting Irma and talk to him about how they are getting people out of, well, uh, areas that are very low-lying and seriously at risk.